2,000 years before the birth of Christ, a great and powerful prince makes the first crude beginnings. He wanders through the forests and jungles of his native land, observing the way of the animals, the still, breathless stalk of the tiger and his sudden lashing spring, the light and deadly quickness of the serpent flickering in the deep grass, the determined, almost thoughtful moves of the vicious mantis, the most deadly of insects, the sudden slash of the hawk and his final murderous grip on the pheasant's throat. He watches them all and learns from them. Later, in the confines of his luxurious palace, he performs a bizarre experiment. Desiring to discover the weak point of the human body, he inserts long needles into the bodies of living men, slaves, until the puncture results in death. Then he records the exact spot of the fatal wound. It is said that over a hundred men died to satisfy the ruthless curiosity of that cruel prince whose name has been justly forgotten. Centuries later, history, as if to atone for the excess of legend, produces a truly great and benevolent figure, a monk named Buddhadharma, or Taimo in Chinese. This great man travels alone and on foot across the bandit-ridden mountain fastness between India and China, bringing meditation, or Zen as the Japanese call it, to the people of the Middle Kingdom. In Honan province, he settles at the Shaolin Monastery, where finding the monks unable to meditate properly because of their poor physical condition, he initiates a series of exercises which not only exercise the body, but prepares the mind for inner power. These exercises, with their twofold purpose, the strengthening of the body, inner and outer, gave start to the fighting principles the Chinese call Kung Fu and the Okinawan and Japanese call Karate. From the Shaolin Monastery at Honan, the practice of Kung Fu spread like wildfire. There are even those who try to give their art credibility by stating their fighting art evolved from the Shaolin Monastery. Where actually, in reality, these arts evolved from the example set by those great masters of Shaolin. For centuries, the fighting arts were extended and perfected. The northern Chinese were known for their feet and hard, extended moves. The southern Chinese were known for their hands and soft, short moves. This was brought about and necessary because of the climate and terrain differences of the area they lived in. The arts spread with sailors and traders to Okinawa, Korea, and Japan from the end of the Tang Dynasty into the beginning of the Ming period, around 906 to 1308 AD. Since the original martial art was borrowed from the Tang Dynasty, the Koreans decided to develop their own Tang Su, meaning Tang Han, as a tribute to China, thus giving birth to Taekwondo. The Okinawans' idea of the clenched fist was born, and their term Kara meant hand, and Te meant China. Together, Karate meant hands of China. Japanese masters changed the idea of Te in Karate to mean empty. This angered most Okinawan masters, but pressure soon brought about the reluctant acceptance to what Karate means today, empty hands. Lethal moves of Asian martial arts have found their way into America, where they continue growing steadily from their ancestor, Kung Fu. Wing Chun's concepts allow you to gain power from technique, not brute force. It hacks out the flashy Hollywood movements. You will learn to rely on practical skill and wise application under the cover of a simple appearance. Because you will learn concepts over technique, you will have the flexibility to improve your fighting system, whether you know a great deal or nothing at all about self-defense. Learning Wing Chun, you will gain knowledge and be able to stretch your mind instead of being confined like you sometimes are or were in school simply because Wing Chun is not just a memorization process. 
At first glance, you might think the concepts and techniques were gentle and harmless, but after a short time, you'll see they are seeds of an ingenious system of combat containing the most effective fighting techniques ever devised. Wing Chun is a martial art unlike any other martial art. Its fast, flexible techniques are applicable in any given situation. Wing Chun is an elite art. It is the best of what is available. Being complete and totally effective, its dynamic techniques range from hand and footwork to ground fighting. system based on physics and human anatomy has proven to be one of the most effective forms of street self-defense to date. It usually takes six to eight months to gain enough proficiency to overcome any attacker on the street. From the very beginning, we teach you how to master Wing Chun and defend yourself in a life-threatening situation rather than wasting time teaching you tournament or point fighting. In a contest, there are judges and referees to stop things when they get out of hand. There are no rules and weight categories on the street, so you must learn to win every time, not take second place. On the street, either you win or you lose. Women, children, and men, no matter the build or experience, will be taught the sinim tao as the introduction and the wooden dummy as the final course. Sinim tao, the first form, is the foundation and power of Wing Chun. second form is the ability to find your opponent's arms. If you do not know where your attacker's arms are, you will get hit. Bu G, third form. This is the most dangerous of any form you'll ever find. Or if you do not have a proper foundation, you will hurt yourself and your training partner. Also, there is the Qi Sao, the trademark of Wing Chun. It teaches you how to work with a feel rather than sight. For seeing is not believing, feeling is believing. Wooden dummy techniques strengthens, simplifies, and corrects all of your Wing Chun skills. Many parents are enrolling kids in martial art classes, hoping they'll learn discipline and self-defense and get a healthy workout. The new study suggests Western methods for teaching martial arts may make kids more aggressive than savvy. Reason? Many courses ignore the ancient philosophy and just teach body moves. This is why Wing Chun stick to the traditional way of teaching. The one-hour class for children is designed to accommodate their attention spans. Although these are group classes, the children are treated individually. Also, within the one-hour structure is a complete system of body moves, history, and Chinese terminology. In doing so, we have created in our students less anxiety, higher self-esteem, improved social skills, and stronger values.
Shaolin Temple, for centuries the hub of martial arts. Around 250 years ago, the fighting prowess of the Shaolin monks became an embarrassment to the Qing government, who decided to wipe out the sect and destroy their monastery located at Mount Sung in Honan. The government persuaded some of the monks to betray their own companions by setting fire to the monastery behind their backs, killing many disciples there. Among the survivors were the Buddha's mistress, Unmoy, Master Qixian, and other headmasters. They were all forced into hiding. Unmoy took refuge at the White Crane Temple. It was there that she witnessed a fight between a fox and a crane. This inspired her to create a fighting system that would not take as long to learn, yet still defeat the existing fighting methods. It was then that she passed her fighting system to Yim Wing Chun, who used it to defend herself from a local bully who was trying to force her to marry him. Miss Yim Wing Chun was then able to marry Lung Bok Chow, who was a salt merchant and a kung fu practitioner himself. He was so impressed by this fighting system that he learned Wing Chun's system. Lung Bok Chow then passed the art to Lung Lan Kwai, who then taught Wong Wa Bo, an actor aboard what the Chinese call the Red Junk. Among his friends on the junk was one named Lung Yi Tai, who learned pole techniques from a cook of the ship, who was in fact Master Qi Xian of the Shaolin Monastery. The relationship resulted in a crossing of information from one to another. Lung Yi Tai then passed the art to Lung Jian, a well-known physician of the town of Fatsun, who, in turn, taught both his sons, Leung Bip and Leung Chun. He also taught the entire system to Master Chen Huashen. Yip Man learned Wing Chun at the age of 12 from Chen Huashen. After the communist takeover of China, Yip Man moved to Hong Kong to become the first public Wing Chun instructor. Among the most famous people Yip Man taught were Dr. Lung Ting and Bruce Lee. Dr. Lung Ting was a closed door disciple of Yip Man, which means Lung Ting was fortunate enough to learn as a private student long after Yip retired from teaching. Yip Man instructed Lung Ting because he was so impressed with his drive of becoming a skilled Kung Fu practitioner. Lung Ting is credited with Wing Chun's world fame. Dr. Lung Ting now resides in Hong Kong and holds the title Grand Master of the Wing Chun System. After partially learning Wing Chun from Grand Master Yip Man, Bruce Lee moved to America where he pursued his career as an actor. Bruce Lee credits Wing Chun as the foundation of his own modern fighting style, Jeet Kune Do. From the book Infinite Insights into Kempo, Ed Parker states, scientific disciplines are only a small part of what Kenpo contains. Like other sciences, Kenpo is constantly being upgraded by Ed Parker. He feels the times dictate change and progress, and therefore Kenpo too must continuously be adapted to blend with the circumstances and times.
When a master of Tai Chi Chuan faces an opponent, he brings to the confrontation thousands of years of philosophical, religious, and practical thought. He has lived most of his life according to principles established centuries ago and, in the process, he has strengthened his body and probably also earned a long and healthy life. The ideal of Tai Chi is empty the left wherever a pressure appears and similarly the right. If the opponent raises up, I seem taller. If he sinks down, then I seem lower. Advancing, the distance seems incredibly longer. Retreating, the distance seems exasperatingly short. short and simple. The monkey forms consist of a few dozen movements that imitate the monkey. Here, the scissors takedown is applied and then tried against a Wing Chun man, who, because of his stance, will not go down as first thought.
Taekwondo is a Korean martial art and is comprised mostly of kicks. It is an excellent exercise program and sport which improves physical conditioning, increases mental alertness, and bolsters self-confidence. The biggest concern of most martial artists is the street fighter. The street fighter has a lot of practical experience and is not afraid of anything. He uses his own technique, which is unruly and fiercely effective. This person is arrogant, likes bullying people, and stops at nothing to win, including the possible use of weapons. Hey, you better, you better shut him down. <laughs> 